about um, people were storing their bedding sets inside the pillowcases and I wanted to see how that would look in a box so I'm gonna try it this is the before so as you can see I've got apologies for lighting but I've got bed sheets I've got my duvet sets I've got some extra pillowcases from random sets that I've previously had and I basically want to make this box as less full as possible so I'm gonna try putting each bed set into one of the pillowcases and I'm going to see how much space that takes up because then I might be able to stack them sideways but we'll see how it goes so I'll let you know how I get on. So it kind of went to plan there was a bit more space in there than um, there was originally but I might end up reshuffling that box I'm not sure yet because I've got a couple of spare bed sheets to go in there too but basically I have a doggy set a parrot set and a purple set which have all got a sheet in so that I can just lift the whole thing out next time and put it on the bed which is easy. Hello there and welcome to a evening video. I thought I would quickly run you through something I've purchased to help me with the organisation of that cupboard that you will be seeing in a video coming very soon. Um, the item actually came in this massive plastic packaging this morning so I am going to either try and reuse this or I might use it as like a bin bag just for the sake of trying to give it a use for the moment. But it might be that I wrap stuff up in it. I don't know yet. But in that bag was two of these. So I've already pre-built one. So I've turned my little lamp on for this. But as you can see, there is a four shelved system in there and you can see all the stuff behind. And basically the plan is I'm going to pull all of that stuff out and then that is going to be pushed up a little bit against the back wall before it starts to go like this because I'm under the stairs. Um, so that's going to go right up against the beginning of the curve if you see what I mean. And I'm going to have two of those in that cupboard so that I can put things like the toolbox and things that I don't want to sit on the floor. I'm going to try and put everything into boxes and basically try and clear that end of the cupboard. Um, anything that's in a storage bag currently is probably going to go in my office under the bed because I'm also going to try and move all the car boot stuff in there which is basically going to be the stuff that's going to stay on the floor I think and then all the stuff that I don't want to get you know I'm basically making space in there but at the same time utilizing some shelving because I've got things like jigsaws in boxes that I want to put on the shelves that I want to keep but I don't want to keep in a box so things like that but anyway You'll see me organise that in the video. So let's build another set of shelves. Voila! It's as good as it's going to get. Four shelves. So this is how it's looking at the moment. Obviously I've got my Christmas stuff over there. I was thinking about shelving it, but actually I quite like having it over there because it means it's out of the way and I've got the shelves for extra things. So I'm going to run you through the shelving. So I've got my Christmas tree and my camera tripod here. That is a box of old like uni bits and bobs that I just thought I would keep. 
Um, I have my memory box down there and then I have a box down there with previous diaries in that I was filling in and a few extra bits and bobs which I'm going to go through at some stage. I then have a french fry box, funnily enough from McDonald's, um, and that has two fans in it and then obviously when we hit summer I will swap these for the heater that I've bought. So I'm hoping the heater isn't going to be too heavy to sit on the top shelf. If it is then I will be readjusting, maybe putting the jigsaws that are currently here. These are the ones I want to keep but I didn't want to keep in the living room so I've moved them into here for now and then if I decide at a later date to go through them again I can. And then I also have my second memory box and my toolbox down there and my empty suitcase there. So that is currently the cupboard. As you may be able to see I still have a lot of stuff on the bed but I am going to run you through to the office. So follow me through, ignore all of the mess that you will see on the way. But in the office, I've actually completely cleared under the bed, ready for my clothing storage that I'm going to put under there. I've reorganised this shelf and I've also reorganised this one. So I now have my night bus that I built with Lego, which you'll have seen in a previous video up there, and our filing system down there. I just have a few bags and things to move and that table is going in the cupboard. But yeah, um quite happy with progress obviously still a little bit messy in places got to get a few places sorted but you will see the finished item shortly okay so this is the completed office as you can see i have a few bits of washing i've managed to clear the bed there's only a few things on the bed that i need to sort out that's a charity bag that i'm waiting to deliver when lockdown's finished I've got a bag of stuff that i need to drop off either at work or get rid of depending on what they say and then i've got some like photos and things to sort out and then I've moved the jigsaw currently on to where my PC will go. But obviously when that jigsaw's finished, I will relocate the board. And then I've got a massive box of shredding that you can see there that I have to get rid of. Um, that cupboard, I've put everything that was car booting in there. And then obviously you can see the shopping trolley. I've done all the shelves and under the beds all organised as well. That's just a bag of things I'm trying to sell at the moment. Um, and then if I walk you through two... The living room, the living room's a work in progress, a few bits and bobs still to move, but I've given the living room a good old tidy too. And then in the bedroom, I can show you the finished cupboard because it's all organised. Um, the shelving obviously has gone in, a bit easier to show you in the light, but I've managed to reorganise things where I want them. The only thing that wouldn't fit on the shelves, disappointingly, was the suitcases, so they are currently on the floor, but they might end up in the cupboard in the office once the car boot stuff's moved, but we'll see. So yeah, that's those. And then as you saw, I did the kitchen the other week, so you'll have seen that video already, but I did go ahead and do the top of the fridge, which is somewhere I didn't show you. And I've also done this cupboard, which is much more organized now. So that is the organization of the flat sorted. Just got a few bits there to move, of course, but yeah, pretty happy.